So the word bisect means to cut into two equal parts. And you can bisect lines, segments, angles, and other things also. The line that's doing the dividing, so the, part, the thing that's cutting it in half, is called a bisector. So on my screen, those are both highlighted um, right here and here. They're purple, and those are the bisectors. And then these marks right here, the ones in red, tell us that those two pieces are equal. And then on angles, these arc marks right here tell us that those two pieces are equal. Um, another word we often hear associated with bisector is midpoint, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It is the middle point of a segment, so it's halfway between the two endpoints. So in this diagram right here, U is the midpoint. You can see these blue marks right here are saying each half is the same length. And then right here, ST would be our bisector. So lots of different vocab words in that diagram. So here's our first example. It says A is the midpoint of X, Y. If it's the midpoint, so if A is directly in the middle, we know each part is the exact same length. So A, Y is also two. And then that means the entire thing would be four. The second one says YA bisects XYZ. So if you look, here's YA. It's cutting this angle XYZ into two equal parts. So we know that this piece here that's labeled 62 is the exact same as this piece over here. And then that means that all together, this angle would be 62 plus 62, which is 124. So in this one, it says YA bisects XYZ. So here's YA. It's cutting XYZ into two equal parts. So I know that this piece is the exact same as this piece. It says XYZ. So the whole entire angle is 124. If we want to find XYA, which if I outline that in red, here's X, Y, A, so just this piece. I'm just gonna take 124 and divide it by two because I know that each part is equal. So that would be 62 degrees. For this next one, it says solve for X. I notice right away that I have these two marks, which means that the two pieces are congruent or the exact same. So I want to go ahead and take those two equations and set them equal to each other. And then I'm going to start solving. So personally, I like to move my x's first. This is a positive 2x, so I would start by subtracting 2x from both sides. That would cause these to cancel out. I would have this positive 4 left. 4 minus 2 is going to leave me with 2x. And I'm going to carry down my negative 20. I'm going to add 20 to both sides. 4 plus 20 is 24. Carry down the 2x. These have canceled out. Divide both sides by 2. And x equals 12. And I was solving for x, so I'm done. This next one says A is the midpoint of XY. So if A is directly in the middle, I know that this is the same as this. So if this left piece is 2X plus 4, the right piece is also 2X plus 4. And then now this is just a segment addition problem. So remember, segment addition says part 1 plus part 2 equals the whole thing. So I'm going to do 2x plus 4 plus 2x plus 4 equals 20x minus 24. I'm going to start by combining like terms. So I have 2x 
plus 2x, so that's 4x. I have positive 4 plus 4, so that is plus 8. And then I'm just going to carry down 20x minus 24. I subtract 4x from both sides. So 8 equals 16x minus 24. Add 24 to both sides. 32 equals 16x. So when I divide, I'm getting x equals 2. Then we just need to read what we're looking for. So we are solving for the measure of xa, which is this piece that I've highlighted in red. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. So 2 times 2 plus 4, which is 8. This next one says YA bisects XYZ. So if YA is cutting XYZ in half, we know that these two angles here and here are equal. So we're going to do X minus 48 equals 2X minus 100. So subtract X from both sides. These would cancel out. So I'm going to carry down my negative 48, 2x minus x is 1x, and then I'm going to carry down my negative 100, add 100 to both sides, 52 equals x. And it said to solve for x, so that's all we're going to do.